So looking at the schedule, we've got to get down to a 10-day cycle time. Right now we're running 14 greater, and so we got to figure out how to get down there. In past events, we have looked at this, and there's no improvement uh, as of yet. Yep. We recognize that uh, customer requirements are 40-day cycle time, you know, door-to-door, -door, and um, in order to achieve that, we need to get gate 3 down to 10 days. Let's do it. All right, so let's try this out. Okay, this is the answer. We started going to teaming concept and having the meetings. We're getting a whole lot more communication between the shifts and a lot through the areas. We're learning a lot of different things that we didn't know before, how the business works, how things run, how parts go through the shop. It's really quite interesting because you don't really realize how much your job affects other people or other people's job affects yours until you really get into it. We have a weekly meeting and everyone seems to be communicating much better. Even if we have an issue, we have one day a week that we get together, both shifts, and coordinate that information and talk like adults and get it solved. And that's what we needed, that communication. It's helped shop communication in our area. It's also brought the shifts together where before there wasn't, where there was a lot of turmoil between shifts and uh, changeover was kind of a troublesome thing. And uh, it's really got everybody together and on the same page. Teaming has given us the ability to go ahead and own part of the process. Um, before you just came to work and you did your job, now you have a little bit of say in what you do in your job. It's cleaned up our area for one and it's utilizing our areas to a greater capacity than what it was, um, I think it's starting to bring us together more. The teaming is more the people, your peers in your area that you work with, finding problems that you've been having in the area and fixing them. Our project this week was, our main project in that area, was to rearrange the area to make it more productive. Before it was just kind of scattered. We split it up to where we do modules in the back and PTs in the front. It's just a better flow and everybody can get to the carts better and, and each shift can come up with their own teaming project like third shift now we're coming up with another project that we're doing right now uh, is to uh, work on the TV monitors to get our rundown sheets for each individual areas because we have just paper sheets that come out to us and they're not updated all the time. The main project I've been working on is the shop talk. Um, we wanted to be able to take teaming to the whole shop instead of just the areas that's been able to start it. We started putting out a newsletter that covered not only what we were doing in our areas but other areas throughout the, throughout the plant. We're starting to communicate through the other shifts with the other shifts. I think it's our communication between the two shifts has gotten a lot better. Communication, I believe, has improved a lot. Uh, Communication's improved greatly between the shifts, between the areas. I'd say the biggest change would be the communication. It is changing. It's an ongoing change. It's not going to be an overnight change. It's going to be a continuous effort to communicate across all three shifts with everybody. I encourage everybody to at least try teaming. Even if you're not a big fan of it, set in a meeting or two, see what you think. Because it's your area, it's going to be changed. So if you want to vote in your area, make sure and be on the team. If nothing else, sit back in the corner and kind of listen, check it out. But I encourage you to be on the team because if the area changes, you want to be a part of the solution for your area. 
because it does work, it, it seems to change a lot. I mean, you're not going to know exactly how much it does change until you get in there and, and start working it and you find out that it, it, it seems to work. It's not something to be real afraid of. It's, it is change, but it's a good change. Uh, what we've always said on the floor, you know, if they don't run it right, um, if we were to run it, if we were to do it, it'd be done like this, and this is a good opportunity to do it. As we tell everybody down there, who better to fix the problems in your area than you? You're the one that works there, and you know all the problems.